Today, in Malibu, California, a record-breaking sharp-nosed trowel faz was caught by Mr. Treg Brown. Mr. Brown's only comment was, Twarn't nothing. Now that's what I call a real fisherman, Father. And just what do you mean by that remark, son? Well, you know what happens when you go fishing. We always end up eating beans. Oh, yeah? Well, it just so happens that among cat fishermen, I'm top dog. Uh, uh, uh top cat. Oh, Father, really? A skeptic, eh? Well, you come along with me and I'll prove it. I'll show you how a real fisherman operates. Oh, Father, there's a swell spot to fish. That's too much work, son. Over there's our spot. But that's an aquarium, Father, and besides, it's closed. Only to the public, Junior, not to us. Come on. I hope you know what you're doing, Father. Oh, boy, Father. Now let's go after the big ones. Uh, just a second, son. Before we tackle the big ones, uh, let's have an appetizer. Well, that would be peachy, but... No buts. Just pay close attention. Look, son. No hands. <laughs> Come on, son. We wouldn't want them. No meat on them. They're all teeth. Now, here's a tank that's just loaded with goodies. Are you gonna skin dive, Father? Sure. It's the best way to catch these little ones. There goes a smart pussycat. Fathers get into trouble like this, but I doubt it. Who's teaching who to fish around here? Give me that! I don't think I'll ever understand, grown-ups. Father! Oh, Father, look! I caught a fish! You call that a fish? Why, it isn't even big enough to bait a hook. Hmm, maybe we can use it. I just thought of a trick I saw on TV. I get a feeling that a disaster is about to happen. Keep your eyes peeled, Junior, and I'll show you how to catch a big one. My father, swallowed by a fish. What can I tell the fellas in Troop 6? No oversized sardine's gonna keep me cooped up. There's so many fishes. Oh, very dangerous. Oh, father, who are you trying to impress? 
Chris. We're supposed to be fishing. No matter what father tries to do, he always ends up going to the dogs. Excuse me, but you have to be quiet or... Hey! I didn't see you come in. If you haven't got a ticket, I must ask you to weave. Ask me to weave? What about you? Where's your ticket, Mac? Me? Uh, I don't have a ticket. No ticket? It must be here someplace. No ticket, eh? Well, you've got one now. You know how fast you were coming down that aisle? No, officer. Real fast and weaving, and you've only got one headlight. Why, there might have been kids playing in the aisle. You're in some big trouble, that's all I know. Oh, Mr. Officer, sir, please give me a break. You see, I was just... Hey, you're that squirrely wabbit that snuck in here. Seven bucks for a movie. The price for an evening of pure aisle entertainment is preposterous. I could better spend an evening in the library, which is why I always carry this. Sneak into my theater, will you, you wascoey wabbit? Wabbit? Pardon, mon frere, but this is the rabbit you seek. I'm no rabbit. Well, if he's no rabbit, then where are his ears? Yeah, Einstein. If I'm no rabbit, then where am I? Oh, no. Uh-uh. End of discussion. I've come too far. I'm above all that now. But not above sneaking into movie theaters. Yeah, but not above sneak... Are you going to stand around jabbering all day? Catch this guy! Attaboy, Robespierre! Capture the scoundrel! Let justice prevail! A wabbit one by here? No, I haven't, Mac, but what can I get you? Well, I am kind of hungry. How about a large popcorn? And a medium soft drink. Would you like genuine artificial imitation butter flavor on your popcorn? Look, my little gluttonous friend, does anything here appear to be out of the ordinary? They were all out of gumdrops? Let me make it easy for you, Sherlock. This is the rabbit! Hey, you're white. Two sheets down front. Hey, we're in pictures. It's a miracle to get into pictures, and now these two jokers want to get out. Two, three, four, hut, 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 two, three, four, hut,
lives in yon garden. What for? Commando tactics. May I? Please do. Why, thank you. Tomato. Ah, scrumptious. Simply scrumptious. Hey, look. Who am I making like? Who am I making like? What's up, Doc? <laughs> oh, my, that was clever, clever. Oh, my, 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 very clever, very, very, very. Mmm, this looks good. <laughs> Cucumbers, say, mmm. And turnips. Well, potatoes. I love potatoes. Oh, I'm taking some of these, too. Delicious, isn't it? But have you tried the pumpkin today? Pumpkin? Why, no. Well, here. Have some. You know, you don't look at all well. Have you had your iron today? Iron? Why, no, I haven't. Well, here. <laughs> well, toodaloo, Carmen. See you tomorrow, head, honey. Shall we? Surely. a keen mind comes to me rescue. Radishes, I love them, simply love them. Starch, starch, makes you fat, no, I wouldn't. No, indeed, no, I wouldn't, no, I wouldn't. Look, strawberries. Strawberries, oh, no, 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 no. They make you break out in a regular rash, you know. Well, celery, my favorite. I just simply adore celery. Ah, now I have got them exactly where they want me. Shall we? Surely. Silly boy. I must extract myself from this precarious position. Woof! Woof! Stunning, isn't it? Thank you. 
three, four, hut, two, 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 three, four. found in the African veldt. The rhino's a powerful animal, treacherous, ill-tempered, savage, thick-skinned, dumb. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but names will never hurt me. <laughs> Morning, Terry. Hi, George. This handsome creature is the Bengal tiger, native to India and French Indochina. His every action is poetry, emotion, truly a regal specimen. If you look quickly to the right, you will see a specimen of the North American skunk. And in this cage, we see the rare and only specimen of the Tweety bird. This bird is very tame and lovable. And right this way from the monkey cages. I told I saw a putty cat. Cedric, didn't you like your dinner? <clears throat> the peculiar taste <clears throat> keeps coming back on me. <coughs> you ought to watch what you eat, Cedric. Hello, Mr. Elephant. Would you like a peanut? Here's a nice one for you.
10 minutes to catch my plane. Hold everything, Fasso! Punch 
up like a fish. When she loves him, me take one up. Uh, she is the one that's a Mali who can love him. Goodbye, golly, in September and November. Not to mention cold December in the spring time in the summer or when autumn leaves are falling. She will love him. Up, up, sick up, sick up, sick up, la, 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 la. Woo! Even though your roaring embrace me living, laugh, Clara, laugh. <laughs> 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 I'm a cowboy, yes, sir, I am. Yes, sir, I am a cowboy, yes, sir, I am. I'm a cowboy, yes, sir, I am. Yes, sir, I am a cowboy. <laughs> Or the land and the sea are ready to fly anywhere the duty calls, ready to fight to be free. <laughs> You're just an angel in disguise. I want it out from up above. <laughs> Over hill and over dale, we're always on the dusty trail. Hunting fox and hunting quail, tally ho! I am a hunting fool, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. My horse and I are of the finest breed, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. Just like the wind, I ride my sword to thee. You're a foot, you're a vibe. Feeling onions makes me cry, this makes no sense, so do I. So don't you go and beat me, Daddy Coop's the nearest bar. Yeah! And now the kid goes into a finale. And what a finale! <laughs> All right, uh, li uh, let's see what the kid can do. Okay, Sleepy, do your stuff. Let's bring time blossoms bloom again. In the car.